This is Mark Bell with Rogue Fitness. We're going to talk about the reverse hyperextension machine. Uh, this piece allows you to train your lower back without loading your back, your back up with weights, without overloading your spine. It actually is going to traction your lower back, help get blood and fluid into your lower back. It's going to kind of gently stretch your lower back at the bottom of the uh, lift. Um, this the reverse hyper is unique in the fact that there's really nothing you can do to mimic this. People try to like hop up on a table or hop up on a bar or they try to set something up at their gym, but you really can't mimic it unless you actually have one. So Jesse is going to demonstrate how to execute this uh, exercise. So this is a strap model. You're just going to go ahead and step in the strap. Make sure you're nice and even. You're going to just kind of jump up to about hip level. Make sure you grab onto the bar. Make sure your back is nice and flat. Then just go ahead and begin. It's very crucial that you control the weight and you can see how much his spine is moving here, his lower back is moving. Everything else is neutral. We see a lot of people doing a lot of weird stuff with their head. That's a little excessive. You want the arching to come from here, from the mid to lower back. There's no reason to be moving your neck around too much. You want to control the weight, control those weights with your butt. And you want to try to get your feet to uh, swing under the machine as much as possible and on the way back up almost try to pause it so that way you're controlling it throughout the whole range of motion. 